Happy New Year to all our wonderful viewers out there. Great to have you join us on Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On today's edition of the program, we'll look at contemporary artist Tola Wewe's exhibition at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Abuja. Then Art Path is an art exhibition by two contemporary artists in Lagos. We have that and more on today's episode. Some people flinch when you talk about art in the context of the needs of society, thinking you are introducing something far too common for a discussion of art. Nobody employs anybody to be an artist. They are creative people and they will continue creating until they die. It depends on their physical ability. Art Path is an exhibition of fabrics, painting, functional art and cycles by two contemporary artists in Lagos. From the entrance of the exhibition hall, one can get a sense of what this show is all about. A journey through the timeless world of the arts from pre-colonial to modern times. The people who are on this quest are contemporary artists. Sylvester Aguda and Okpelu Agunyaki, who work on different media. objective is to bring people through that journey of discovering art every day. Art is endless. It's an idea that comes up every day, new things are coming up and then we are trying to interpret them in terms of putting them on paper, putting them on canvas, putting them in pictures. So today art part is just to bring you from what art used to be then and what art is today. I have an artist who does pre-colonial art and we have a collaboration. I'm doing contemporary art, he's doing uh, pre-colonial art. So we are bringing people through that experience from the past to the present. My kind of work is functional art. What we are trying to do or to bring back to life is pre-colonial art, African art, the art that we've been doing before the colonial masters, the art of our forebearers, our forefathers, without going through the war of any higher learning like a God-given talent, but over the years has been eroded because of probably one reason or the other, which I believe probably because the aspect is not, um, the, there's no much capital one, and it's not, the business is not lucrative. People are not interested in doing African arts, which is functional arts, which is, uh, I call pre-colonial art. Working with their individual styles, they bring out the beauty of the African culture using wood and collage. While Lopeolua is making it functional, Sylvester is showing the vibrance. The whole idea is for us to do something uh, African, something Nigerian. Uh, most of my works are actually very colorful because I believe color is life and it gives the viewer an experience of uh, that positivity. And as we all know, Africa is rich in colors. Our uh, textiles, our uh, people, you know, what they wear and the kind of things they do are all very colorful. We are blessed with good woods in Africa. What I'm doing basically is to bring out, bring back the spirit of craftsmanship and to remodernize it, to make it more functional. Because people have believed that woodworks, African art, figuries are diabolic, some are barbaric, but how can we make it more functional and more attractive to, you know, to, so we can apply it to this day and at least uh, prepare it to the nearest future. 
if you look at the works here I mean, for this exhibition, you can see that the artists are they are very, very they are very pro Africa. It's all about promoting Africa in the right path, give, showing us, portraying us to the world, showing our beauty and all that. Not accepting whatever negative definitions that any other race would have, would have given us, but promoting our, our, our beauty because we are beautiful, we are Africans. Are. All this hasn't been lost on the crowd here. Some of them are colleagues who've gathered to give the artists the much needed support. My first impression is that um, the works are very creative, especially the works of um, Mr. Aguda. I see that he's a multi-talented and multi-genre artist. I've seen photographs, I've seen collages, I've seen paintings, and they're all very creative. As for the woodworks, I must confess that they too are creative. I'm impressed by, there's a particular chair there made from, um, I think, zebra skin. Um, I was telling a friend of mine that I thought they only had zebras in East Africa, because in those days they used to import zebra skins to use in the parlor as like a, a rug. So I don't know whether we have um, zebra in Nigeria, but those chairs made from zebra skin also show a high level of creativity. Sebastian's work, they are collage and I think he's doing a great work in collage and um, I've seen his work before but what I've seen today is quite encouraging and very inspiring and um, Sebastian has come a long way and he's my colleague and we've known each other for a while and he's been telling me a lot about this collage so I'm here today to actually see this exhibition and uh, I'm quite impressed about what he has done today. Akpoyemi has come of age and he's done great work today. I'm highly impressed with what he's done with wood. You know, I'm a wood person so I know exactly what it takes to make things happen with wood and he's done a great work. That support is what they're in dire need of so the art sector can grow. We want people to enjoy African art. We want people to take pride in African art. African art is well sought after uh, outside this country. We want people in Africa, in Nigeria especially, to appreciate what we have here. And we want people to promote and sponsor and patronize African art, especially the Nigerian art. So this will encourage a lot of Nigerian artists to do works that a lot of people will buy. We have a lot of buildings and homes coming up today. And uh, what we have is foreign art. So can we try and encourage the Nigerian artists and buy, I want people to patronize the Nigerian artists, can they buy our works and put them in their homes? Because our works carry stories of Africa and this will give the opportunity to our children to know what our stories are all about. These artists are blazing the art trail 
and they expect the journey to be interesting in 2019. Now you see the connection between cycles and art and also functional art as well. It all depends on where your passion lies and we're waiting to see it in the new year.